here with uh, Dylan Griffith, Hi, Butch, uh, a home brewer, college student here at Ohio University, and uh, Dylan Griffith. Uh, I'm 21. I've only been 21 for a short time, but after I turned 21, I I realized I'd spent a lot of money on beer, so I got into home brewing. Uh, that is the number six you're drinking. Yeah, that's a it's a Mexican amber ale. It's good stuff. Uh, this one that we did today that you guys got on film was number 10. Number uh, 10. So you. you this is your tenth brew. Yeah, yeah. We I numbered them all. Uh, we we go, I, I go in with a friend of mine, Mike, who well, I'm sure you saw him not helping me. Uh, <laughs> we go under the the uh, the name Pickle Factory. Uh, that's the the brew name we go under. Uh, and this is number ten, which is a wheat and mango beer. Great. It's a, it's a great conversation piece too. I feel like when I bring them to parties, people are always just really really willing to try them. Uh, and it's it's. Yeah, I don't feel bad giving them out at all because you get on a natty, no problem. And mine's half the price of a natty for me. And just, yeah, I just said to add in work. <laughs> all right, we're here with Eric Dean, uh, owner of Do It Yourself Brewing Shop in Athens. I believe that we've all been here before, <laughs> and uh, and beer making was done by the families for for many millenniums, thousands of years. And it's only in the last hundred years that it's been so commercialized. The, uh, this one town where they invented uh, Bach beer, they had this machine or uh, brewing apparatus that they passed around the village. And each family you know, would brew their beer. And then they would have a festival, a big party at the end. And they would taste everybody's beer. And, and if, if your beer didn't cut the mustard, they would dump your batch, <laughs> and you'd be uh, the disgrace. Oh, your beer sucked. It's terrible. <laughs> There's a thing called, you know, uh, rum brave. You know, if you're a little bit drunk, you're a little bit brave, lowers your inhibitions. And but then there's the other thing about being too drunk to fight. <laughs> beer helped uh, mankind become what it was to. It's something that I wanted to do for a long time, and it was a, a, a hobby of mine that I turned into a career, and um, it, Isn't uh, that what we all want to do? Yeah, if you can um, do something that you enjoy doing, it makes life a lot better. 